Leslie is a teacher. She taught in the elementary grades for three years. Now she operates and writes programs for Plato, another computer-based teaching machine at the University of Illinois. One reel of computer tape holds the lesson to be taught. Another records each student response for later evaluation. Thus, like the Socrates operation, a complete message generating, message receiving, and feedback system is present in Plato. Lesson material is stored on hundreds of slides which the computer scans in a minute of a second. Students view the lesson slides on television monitors. Additional material may be presented on cartridge-loaded 8mm film units mounted above each cubicle. The student responds by punching a keyboard. The screen reads, this is RepLab. It is your servant and will do only what you tell it to do. The student elects to have the computer generate a message via 8mm film. In this inquiry program, the student enters a dialogue with the computer. To solve the problem, he must request and organize appropriate information. When the computer asks a question, such as number three on the density of kerosene, the student is expected to assemble information to find the answer. However, if he attempts to circumvent the inquiry program and reach an easy solution, the computer responds like a human teacher. Plato and Socrates clarify the elements and relationships within message systems. The computer sends the primary message. When he responds, the student supplies feedback. The computer receives the feedback, stores and interprets it, and responds or sends another message. Proper use of the inquiry teaching logic involves requesting and organizing enough information to answer a question such as number one in this series. When sufficient information is assembled, the student may attempt to answer the original question. Plato will even catch spelling errors that are part of a tutorial logic on fractions. In addition to the standard typewriter keyboard, extra keys handle special functions. Should a response be judged incorrect, a special help key will branch the student into a review sequence.
When the student discovers what caused his incorrect response, the aha key sends him back to the original program where he may attempt to answer the question again. The feedback of student responses is assembled and printed by the computer for evaluation by the instructional staff. And this is very nice because you see we have here a record of everything that the student has done in the sense of response. It seems to me that you're also looking over your own shoulder and are able to evaluate <coughs> your own teaching from this record. This is not possible, as you know, in 30 students or 35 that most teachers have in the classroom. The program here and the readout that we have of the student's progress through the lesson which he was given allows the teacher to know just exactly what responses were made to each of the questions which were posed to the student, the time it took, you see, which is very important uh, as one could compare one student's uh, time of response with another. And I think that this is a very good way of furnishing to the teacher a great deal of very important information that they can really get no other way except with individual help. Well, I think that the, that the limitation is not so much on things that we've done, but on the, uh, the wisdom and the creative ability of the people that eventually use the system. Uh, to me, this would be the most exciting thing uh, for a teacher. If uh, I'm a teacher studying for the future, I can now uh, anticipate the day where many of the mundane tasks teaching uh, will be carried out by the computer, and uh, in place of that, I'll be able to take the same time and apply it in a more creative way to teach the students. This is, I, th I think this is an important aspect of teaching. We're not talking about removing the uh, teacher uh, from the teaching function at all, but we're giving her a leverage so that she can take user time more efficiently and then teach a larger number of students effectively. Computer-based teaching systems, like Socrates and Plato, contain all the elements of the communications process. Messages, medium, receiver, response, feedback. The key element in this band machine teaching system is its ability to elicit, interpret, and respond to feedback. To perform individual tutoring, which in today's schools is often difficult to provide.